comes the fairest from garden and woodland and hillside and dale. Our full hearts are swelling, our glad voices telling the praise of the loveliest flower. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather here in spirit to celebrate the Requiem Mass for the repose of the soul of Daniel McAllister, or Danny, as he's known to his family and friends. We're here also to express our sympathies to his family and friends, particularly to Daniela, who and a more intense way has cared for him in this past year. We're here to pray to Almighty God that he grants Danny a place of refreshment, light and peace. And to celebrate worthily Holy Mass, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the ending of present things open up the beginning of things to come, grant we pray that the soul of your servant Danny may be led by you to attain the inheritance of eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us listen to God's word and sacred scripture. Let us be nourished by it and take confidence in it. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Cilicia, Paul went to Derbe and then on to Lystra. Here there was a disciple called Timothy, whose mother was a Jewess who had become a believer. But his father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of Timothy, and Paul, who wanted to have him as a travelling companion, had him circumcised. This was an account of the Jews in the locality where everyone knew his father was a Greek. As they visited one town after another, they passed on the decisions reached by the apostles and the elders in Jerusalem, with instructions to respect them. So the churches grew strong in faith as well as growing daily in numbers. They travelled through Phrygia and the Galatian country, having been told by the Holy Spirit not to preach the word in Asia. When they had reached the frontier of Mysia, they thought to cross it into Bithynia, but as the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them, they went through Mysia and came down to Troas. One night Paul had a vision. A Macedonian appeared and appealed to him in these words, Come across to Macedonia and help us. Once he had seen this vision, we lost no time in arranging a passage to Macedonia, convinced that God had called us to bring the good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's my shirt.
from the first letter of St Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, it was on the 2nd of September 1935 that James and Annie McAllister welcomed their newborn son, Daniel, into the world, or Danny. Danny was born and brought up. He was the second eldest of four siblings, Jim being his elder brother, Lackey's younger, and his sister Nessie. It is indeed to um, Nessie, the last surviving sibling, we extend our condolences to today. The family home was over in Paul Shaw's, and Danny always let it be known that he was a Shaw's man, going to St Conville's primary and then Holyrood secondary. However, the best part of his life was spent here in the Calton. It was in Mill Road Street. But Danny, always mind the folk, he was a Shaw's man. So maybe from a Caltonian perspective, we might have to be praying this very day for that error that um, he'd managed to make it to the north of the river and the east end. Um, but hearkened in many ways 
to the child who's been brought up in the Shaws. He served as an apprentice electrician and went down to England for a wee spell, but returned to Glasgow where he applied his skills in the shipyards, the shipbuilding industry, firstly at Govan and then for the majority of the best part at Scotston at Yarrow's shipbuilding. It was fairly tough work, but he was soon to meet his future wife. He met the young Betty McMacken in the Locarno. Very often, um, for folk of um, Danny's generation, you're asking, where did they meet? Was it the Barrowland? Was it the Locarno? Was it the Pali? Or was it the best dance hall of all, St Mary's? But it was the Locarno they met. And indeed, after a wee, I suppose, a wee small break in early courtship, eventually they um, met, got together and got a family, the first home together in Paisley Road West, and then moved in the mid-60s to the, the current home in Mill Road Street. And it was there that Daniela, or Daniela, was born. And Daniela's recollection of childhood memories is um, lots of family holidays, whether it be at Salcoats or down at Blackpool, there is recollection of um, Danny and Betty going with Betty's sisters on these holidays. And even recollections of a, a van where a sofa would be flung in the back and they'd make their way to the beach. Uh, idyllic memory of simpler times, perhaps. For those of you who knew Danny, you would perhaps recall a quiet man, a gentleman. But that would not mean that he wasn't in any way sociable. He enjoyed his social life with his brothers, with Jim and Lackey. He would often go to the football. Um, to see a club and that's where for the benefit of this recording um, his football support wasn't for the south side it was for here at the east end to the beloved Celtic and indeed from this very place of Celtic's foundation we celebrate um, Danny's funeral mass today one of the highlights of his time as a Celtics fan was heading off to somewhere special in 1967. Yes, it was in the heat of Lisbon. But Danny was one of the fortunate ones who was on a plane that morning and on a plane that evening getting back, all going there in their shirts and ties, not quite taking in to calculation the heat of the day. But needless to say, we know how that trip turned out. In terms of his other interests, he liked his music. He had quite an expansive taste of music, from Motown to jazz to country and western, to even a wee touch of classic stuff there. And he had other sort of interests too. He did take voluntary redundancy, although he didn't tell Betty it was voluntary redundancy. He said it was compulsory. And um, he soon got quite bored in retirement and that saw him taking on um, various things like computer courses, upholstery courses and indeed um, taking a more keen interest in gardening where his plants and his flowers and his veranda was his pride and joy. In 2008 sadly Betty passed away with a brain tumour and indeed it was Daniel and Daniela and the family cared for her until. So it's been, in many ways, uh, a long 12 years for Danny without Betty. And in those latter years now, um, Danny began to show ostensibly the signs of dementia and eventually 
his caring needs meant that Danella had to move in with him in the past year. But Danella has said how wonderful neighbours were at looking out for him and guiding him. And it's a tribute to it. It doesn't get said enough, but the, we have a, a wonderful, a wonderful community in the Calton of just good salt of the earth Glaswegians, Caltonians looking out for each other. And I think, I suppose, in Dan Ellis Bath, I'd like to thank friends and neighbours for that. But I think, in turn, I would like to acknowledge Danella, like many people who care for the loved ones who put their life and hold, give up their work, you have to be commended. Although you were their only daughter to Danny and Betty, you have done them proud by the way that you've cared for them, you, the way you, that you have loved them and cherished them as a daughter. And that makes our sympathy and our condolences to you all the more profound. In this time of isolation, when we struggle to say goodbye to people we love in a way that we wouldn't want, we'd like to express our affection more publicly. The, the, the burden of this grief becomes intensified. And that's where we need to take hope. Because a Christian funeral, while we recall with affection all these stories of the past, this Mass today is not about the past, but it's about the future. It's about the future and the bright promise given on the cross in Calvary by Christ, who with confidence told the repentant thief, today you will be with me in paradise. And three days later, he showed the power he had over death because he was raised from the dead by the Father. And it's the Christian funeral that we pray that we all share in Christ's victory over suffering and death. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we look to the future for Danny, that he is united with his beloved Betty and that they are at peace. We pray that God instills in us the hope and the confidence that we truly know for Danny, not only is the suffering at an end, but life in itself has changed, not ended. And so, Danny, may you sleep this day in paradise. May the angels come to meet you. May they welcome you and take you to the Father's house. Rest in peace. Let's now offer prayers for our brother, Daniel. For Daniel, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For Daniel, that he may find eternal rest in the presence of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the family and friends of Daniel, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us gathered here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered again, together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are suffering, for the sick, those in chronic pain, especially suffering COVID-19, those who are frightened or lonely, who need the comforting presence of God this day, we pray. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are in frontline services during this time of crisis, especially those who are fearful for their own health, that God supplies to them his grace and strength, we pray. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
We remember those who have died. For all who are mourning, who each day are filled with longing for the presence of someone they love. We pray. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, graciously hear these prayers and petitions and accept them and receive them, we pray, through Christ our Lord. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Here Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant, Danny, may be taken up into glory with your Son. In his great mystery of love, we are all united through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that though saddened by the certainty of dying, might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. If we are at home, on our own, isolated, let's contemplate the peace of Christ. It's a peace he offers us, a peace the world, a peace no material thing could ever give. If you are with others in your home, you wish to exchange and offer a sign of peace, you're warmly invited to do so. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only see the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant me pray, O Lord, that your servant, Daniel, for whom we've celebrated this Easter mystery, may his pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Dear friends, let us contemplate before we go our separate ways. Let's take leave of our brother, Danny. We our farewell, express our affection for him. May ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day, we will joyfully meet Danny again with the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to paradise. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on him forever. May the angels lead you, Danny, into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the new and heavenly Jerusalem. Peace. Let us take Danny to his place of rest.
When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end. Of a stone, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver sound of love. Walk on. 